guys welcome to Dean of the Dead TV we are here today in the Roman city of Bath where we're going to be checking out the house of Frankenstein Museum which is just on the other side of this wall over here we know that Mary Shelley lived here in Bath for a number of years and this is also where she created and wrote one of the most iconic gothic novels of all time Frankenstein it's alive! So we're going to take you inside the museum, have a look around, show you everything they've got in there. And then later on, we're going to go and see if we can find where she lived here in Bath. So stick with us and um, follow us on our journey into the house of Frankenstein. <laughs> Dead body back to life. Um, and yeah, 
is that's where she got the idea of Frankenstein. They've done it like Big Brother. So it says D5 in the, what house are they in? The Diodati house. D5 in the Diodati house. How creepy is this little guy here? Wouldn't be great in a horror film. Like a little guy with like two mouths, no eyes and nose.
into the theatre. This room is incredible. Look at this guy over here. Here he is, right here, sorry. Standing at eight foot tall. His chest is breathing. His, it feels like his eyes for you around the room, but he's terrifying. He's absolutely enormous. Can you imagine this guy chasing you down an arc alley? Or chasing you anywhere, to be fair. But just to give you an idea of how, how big this guy is. We're standing on the same level. I think you can take me. <laughs> but yeah, this is so cool. All these potion bottles over here. Oh. This over here. Like the rack where he would have been chained to with the, uh, the thing that would have been down onto his head to kind of deliver the bolts of electricity to bring him alive. So as you can see, her interpretation of the monster is, is very, very different to how we see him in popular culture. Actually looks a bit like Jason Momoa with that beard. to deliver this guy's newspapers to him in the morning. For him to read what's going on in the world. Meant to be, right? <laughs> it's just crazy how it sort of come from that, you know, the 1800s, like those really kind of dark times that Mary Shelley went through, you know, like losing her children, losing her husband, and how it's kind of, you know, how it's 
the monster is now seen in like the modern day era universal monsters with kind of Boris Karloff's depiction of it even to like Herman Munster from the monsters um, Right, test your nerve. Don't wake the monster. Let's have a go. See how steady my hand is. Let's have a little go. Ah, that's weird. Ah, that feels weird. That feels so weird. That feels so weird. toilets as well which is what we're gonna live into now um yeah i think we're gonna pop and have a little look and see what's on in the screening room and then we're gonna make our way down to the basement which i'm not sure if we can film the basement but maybe we'll see if we can film a little bit while we're down there let's go see what's on in the screen room Probably the things dragging down to the ceiling. Should we go around that again? Do you want to go shoot by yourself? No, no. <laughs> 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 oh, the smell pods. Stinky. Yeah, we won't do that again, man. Wow, that was incredible. That's so cool. 
Oh. He is cool. He's so cute. Frank and Bear. Mm -hmm. He's really cool, actually. I like it. I love his hoodie. It's very cool. Frankenstein in Bloody Mary's bar and we're with Vicky. Vicky's going to tell us a little bit about this room. Yeah well this is probably one of the most intimate bars in Bath. Um, it's Bloody Mary's because the attraction is all about Mary Shelley and very few people know that she lived in Bath and she wrote Frankenstein while she was here aged just 19. In this room um, you can hire it for a party or a Hindu and just to your side, there is an ominous suitcase. This suitcase contains body parts that we have found. And the ch we challenge you to work out whose body is in the suitcase and how did they get to be in there. So you can rent this suitcase and have it go here in the bar and then you can go around the house. So at Mary Shelley's house of Frankenstein, um, with this is an immersive multi-sensory museum that's dedicated to the story of Mary Shelley, who lived in Bath and wrote Frankenstein here. We're over four floors in a Grade Two listed building. We have smells, sound, and we also have the creature recreated for the first time ever in the world. He's eight foot, but he's created exactly as Mary Shelley wrote him to be and he breathes. As well as that, he's terrifying. As well <laughs> as that, we show the first ever Frankenstein film made in 1910. And then when you've done all of the rooms, of which there's 11 three rooms, you take on the scary walk through basement. Which we've also done, which was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you, Vicky. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey guys, so this, this here is the spot where Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein. This is insane. So it used to be number five Abbey Churchyard, but now it's the pump room. And I believe behind here is the, uh, the Roman baths. But yeah, this is the spot where number five Abbey Churchyard used to be, which is where she wrote Frankenstein, which is insane. But yeah, it's such a lively, vibrant spot now. You can see all these tourists here. Uh, Abbey in the background, which is incredible. We just came out of that. Fantastic. So yeah, this is where horror history was created, right here in this very spot. That's insane. So guys, if you find yourself in Bath, or if you're thinking of taking a trip to Bath, make sure you come and visit. Obviously, all this beauty here, the Abbey itself, the pump room, the spot where Mary Shelley wrote. Frankenstein but most importantly make sure you get yourself over to the house of Frankenstein go and check it out go and support those guys it is incredible it's really definitely worth a visit there's lots in there to see it tells you all about the story um, and then obviously you've got what goes on down in the basement so yeah go and check it out uh, this is Steve the Dead TV thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one creeps thank you very much <laughs>